Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get Frax tokens using USDC. So we're going to start out here on the Frax.finance website and then go into their trading app. So Frax is a fractional algorithmic stablecoin with the amount of collateral needed to mint some decreasing if Frax is trading above $1 and increasing if it's trading below $1. Minting requires some stable coins for collateral, as well as FXS tokens, which will be burned. So up here we can see the price of Frax token, the collateral ratio over here, and the variable price of the floating rate FXS token. So we're going to go over to the mint section here. Something to note is that if the price of Frax is not over $1.0033, then you can't mint more. It must purchase on the secondary market. So I found that this page often takes a while to load. I have another version of it up here where you'll normally get this pop-up. And so it says with the current pricing, which is under that 1.0033 price, that you're not able to mint more and instead have to go to an exchange and swap in order to get Frax. So before we go and do that, we'll just look at theoretically how would we do this if Frax was currently at a price where we could mint some more. So when Frax is mintable, you would select which stablecoin you would like to use as collateral. And so here we have a dropdown, we have USDC, DAI, FEI, USDC, a few other ones. So you select which ones that you want to use, put in the amount of that stablecoin you're going to want to use, and then it will show you how much FXS you're going to need to burn for that. And so the amount of collateral you're going to need relative to how much FXS is burned will be determined by the collateral ratio. And then from there, you'll see the exchange rate, you'll see how much fracs you're going to be getting from this, and then you're going to hit the mint button and then you should get a metamask transaction that once you confirm that you will get your newly minted frax tokens but since currently the situation is that frax price is too low in order to mint some new frax we're instead going to swap on an external exchange so i'm going to hit swap instead and then you want to pick if you want to be doing this on the ethereum mainnet or a variety of other layer one or layer two options. So I'm going to look at Polygon and Sushi Swap. So normally hit the trade button here, but this is currently a broken link. So I'm going to go over to Sushi Swap, sushi.com. Going to enter the app. Now we are on the app and we're going to want to get Frax here. I want to pay with USDC, which is normally found in the common bases. Could also look it up. And then I'm just going to get a small amount here for testing purposes and see how much Frax we're going to get. So now we are on Polygon Chain. I'm going to hit swap. Now this gives the information on the price impact, which is very low. This is a liquid trading pair and now going to confirm that swap confirm that in metamask while i'm at it i'm going to add frax to my metamask so i can see the token and on my other screen i saw that the transaction just confirmed so now looking at assets now have the Frax tokens, so we went from USDC to Frax stablecoin. That's all for now. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one.